Hi. Here we go. Um, I'm going to put my name. Uh, review 1. 921. And I'm going to go through the list. It says print your name. Just don't print my name. Print your name. And then print a blank line. And then print part 1. And then write a program that asks the user for a positive integer. So we're going to do using a try except statement. So we say while true try and equals int input. By the way, you've done this like 15 times. So you could go back and get it out of an old program. Please enter an integer greater than, I'm going to pretend I'm 16 years old. If we use my real age, the drawing on the right gets a little out of control. Now, if we get to the line that, that I'm blinking on right now, it means we got a number. So right here, we're going to check if n greater than 16 break. And now, right here, I could say else, but I don't have to because of the break. If it's greater than 16, it breaks. Otherwise, if it gets to this line, uh, it's not greater than 16. So I asked for two different error messages, one for when it's not bigger than my age and one for when it's not bigger than, uh, and when it's not a number. So I'm going to say uh, needs to be greater than 16. Uh, try again. And then we get to the accept part. we got to back, back, Backspace, except value error, colon. And right here, if we get to this spot, it means they didn't enter a number. Please try again with a number. All right, and now we get down here. And uh, we're going to print a series of stars going from one star up to the number of stars the user entered. We're printing the number and then the number of stars. So we're going to print uh, 4x in range. We want to go from 1 up to the number they just entered. So if I want to actually do the number they entered, I have to say plus 1 in the range command. I'm going to print the number, and then we're going to print that many uh, stars. And I did that by doing x times quote star quote. So let's run this. If I hit enter, it says, please try again with a number. If I enter 12, it needs to be greater than 16. And if I enter 22, and I got 22 rows with stars. All right. That's part one. Then it says, print a blank line, and then print part two. And then it says, create a list variable that has the following contents. And... Uh, I'm literally asking you just to copy them. I don't, and my program is not letting me copy. So I'm going to say um, my list equals, and then square brackets, it's 3, 14, 6, 7, and 12. So those are the numbers I want you to use right now. Print the list as given. Print the list. Giving myself some space. My list. And then print the list sorted. So here's a common mistake. Don't do the sort command in the print dialog. Just say my list dot sort. That sorts it. And then print um, sorted. I'm lining things up nicely. Might as well while you're here. And then print out the maximum value, the minimum value, the average, and the sum of the even numbers. And I tell you how to do this um, in the PDF. So it's on the next page right after my sample output. Um, so we're going to do the maximum. Print maximum, uh, comma, and this is max my list. I'm going to just copy this line. Uh, oh, it didn't copyright because there's nothing after it. 
and minimum and min and I guess I can do average average and you can't do AVE we have to do sum my list divided by a length my list that's how you do the average it's uh, the total that they add up to divided by how many there are and then lastly I want the sum of the even numbers and to do that, um, I'm just making sure everything runs. To do that, we have to do a little for loop. And I tell you that in there, for x in my list. Well, before you start the for loop, we have to um, sum, I'm going to call e a variable evens equals 0. And then in here, we're going to say if x mod 2 equal equals 0, that means it's an even number, then we're going to say evens equals evens plus x. Now we can print. See, that goes through the whole list, and anyone that's even, it adds to this variable evens. Sum of evens. Uh, line up even sum. So, evens. So, Wow, we didn't lose everything. I'm not really sure what happened. We'll get back there. I know it's not all gone. Yep. All right. All right, we got 32 for the sum of the evens. All right, part three. We're more than halfway done. Print a blank line. Print part three. Um, sums equals empty list. 4x in range 20. X dot append math uh, random dot rand int 515. Now this is going to fail because I forgot to import random. So we're going to import random right here. And what that does is this stores 20 random numbers in the list called nums. And now as a separate task, um, 4x in nums, we're going to go through and we're going to print all those numbers, that many dollar signs, centered in 20 spaces. So print, and then you got to do another set of parentheses here. I'm going to do x times quote dollar sign. And then right here, uh, center 20 spaces. So let's see what happens. Um, oh, x dot append. Whoops. Nums dot append. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. And so this shape over here is going to be different every time you run it. It's random numbers. Part three. A blank line. Print part four. And at the window, I'm looking at the PDF. Print the numbers six through eighty-five in five columns with tabs when the number uh, between the numbers. Except whenever a number is divisible by seven, print two dollar signs instead of that number. Okay. So um, we're going to need a counter variable. I'm going to set it to zero. Four x in range six eighty-six. That's how we go from six to eighty-five. We're going to say if x mod 7 equal equals 0. That means if it's divisible by 7, then we're going to print two dollar signs and n equals tab. Else, we're going to print the number. n equals tab. 
And then right here, we're going to say C equals C plus 1, because that's our counter. And we're going to say if C modulo 5 equal equals 0, print. So that's how we get five columns. Notice everywhere that was a number divisible by 7, 28, 49, 84, 70, it uh, prints two dollar signs instead. All right, that is the program I asked you to write. I hope this helps.